Hi there, this is a video to help walk you through how to do the enzyme cutout activity. The enzyme cutout activity looks like this. I kind of assume that you could do the vocabulary on your own. You should know by now what an enzyme is, what the catalyst is, and so on. So write in the definitions for those things. We get down to part B and it says cut out all the figures in part B. If you haven't done that yet, pause the video and go and do that. I have, and I'm going to glue the cutouts in a certain order. Enzyme plus substrate, enzyme substrate complex, enzyme plus product one plus product two. Okay, so what's that going to look like? On the page of the activity that looks like this, in part B, I need to glue down the enzyme, okay, and the substrate. Now, in that first part of the equation, it just says enzyme plus substrate. So that means they're probably kind of separate, right? And then in the second part, it's the enzyme substrate complex. So that means they're kind of together, right? And then in the last part, it says enzyme plus product one plus product two, meaning that they're also separated. Okay. So when you cut out all the things, you're going to put them all together like that. It doesn't actually have to be like oriented this way, but there's not a lot of space. Fit it however best you can, right? And you're going to label things, okay? So you're going to move that down. And then it says to label things. After you've done that, label the cutouts as the following compounds. The enzyme is lactase, the substrate is lactose, and the products are glucose and galactose. Okay, so once they're glued down, I'm going to go ahead and label them. So the enzyme is lactase. So when you, wherever there's a lactase enzyme, I'm going to label it lactase. And the substrate is lactose. So wherever there's a substrate, I'm going to put lactose. And product one is glucose. And product two is galactose. Oh, let's glue down there. So then everything's labeled, right? Probably want to put little arrows in between, kind of showing the story as it is, right? So then once that all glued down and labeled, the next thing you got to do is describe what happened. Use the vocabulary words from part A. So what happened? Using these vocabulary words, well, the enzyme reacted with the substrate because the substrate fits into the active site. And what did the enzyme do when it reacted with the substrate? Well, it looks to me like it took it apart, right? So you're going to explain what happened. So because the substrate fit into the active site, the enzyme reacted with the substrate, broke it apart, broke it down, okay, into product one and product two which then left the active site. So we're going to explain what happened there, all right? That's how you do the first part and the second part, well, part A and part B of the enzyme cutout activity. It's similar for part C, okay? You're going to cut out all the figures for part C if you haven't done so already, okay? And you're going to set them up similarly. You're going to follow the directions tells you this time it's going to be enzyme plus substrate one plus substrate two produces enzyme substrate complex, which produces enzyme plus product. Then you're going to label everything and explain what happened. So that's how you do the enzyme cutout activity. The last part, part D, is a graph. If you have any questions about that graph, feel free to contact me. Thanks and good luck.